Hi guys, welcome to Scientific Investing and wish you a very happy Independence Day. Uh, now coming to today's video. So uh, today's video is more of a review of what we have been doing. And I have been making public presentations since 2016. And I keep updating, you know, all the stocks which I present in public domain, which, you know, includes right from 2016-17 stocks like, uh, you know, Apollo Hospital, uh, Repro, Obro Reality, Mathen Alloys, SIS, Tata Alexi, uh, and few more. And I have al always, you know, presented, uh, you know, how the story panned out, what were the learnings, what did work, what didn't work and all. And uh, given I've been more active on YouTube from last seven, eight months, of course, I have presented uh, almost eight to nine stocks. So I thought, why not to, you know, take the current quarterly results as a guiding factor to see uh, how we envisage things when we uh, made the presentations and how these stocks are doing. So today we are starting with banking and uh, in last seven months, we have made two banking stock analysis. Uh, one was City Union Bank, the other is Karur Vyas Bank, both the companies have come up with the results. So I thought let's make a video to understand, uh, you know, how the story is panning out uh, in terms of what uh, we had said during the analysis. If you look at, uh, you know, this chart this is from the CUP presentation we did somewhere in Feb March. And if you have not seen the video, do look at uh, the CUP video. It is the link is there in the description. Do look at also at the Karur Vyas Bank video that is also in the description. So in the CUV Bank videos, we highlighted that the banking credit cycle is at almost its lifetime low. And we expected a rebound. And in last, you know, four or five months, that rebound has happened. And now the banking credit cycle has again gone in double digits. So that's a good sign. Uh, the other slide, uh, this was a very important slide because we highlighted how the overall CUB story could play out and what are the opportunities. And we said few things. So we expected the, you know, the recovery performance to be better, uh, you know, better. And uh, that has actually happened because if we look at the current results, a lot of NPA recovery has happened. And uh, that also we expected further NPAs to normalize and again, we can see in terms of quarterly results, the NPAs are falling down. We also expected growth to come back and uh, in Q4 management guided for a 12 to 15% growth rate. But when we look at the Q1 result, now management has increased its growth projection. They're expecting, uh, you know, 16, 18% kind of growth rate, which is really good because uh, this is one of the most conservative management I've seen in the banking. And if they are, you know, giving a bullish guidance that is something to, you know, uh, take uh, take seriously. Also, uh, you know, there is expectation that, uh, you know, we will hit the 1.5% ROI number, we will hit, uh, you know, 4% uh, kind of NIM margins. And those things are happening and slowly, you know, uh, if we look at the current results, the growth has been good. And in banking, I consider very high growth rate not as good because very few companies can manage it. So that medium kind of growth rate the company is hitting, the ROI number is good, the ROI number is good, the NPAs are falling, the CASA is growing, uh, the overall uh, capital and CRA ratio, everything looks good. And it is one of the few banks which has not diluted its equity since 2014, which means the bank itself is generating sustainable profit to grow without uh, you know diluting the equity, which is a good thing. So all in all, the sector is back. Uh, I think uh, uh, I have again highlighted the uh, six, seven months back that I see value in auto and banks. And it's good that both these stories are playing out. Uh, the numbers are slowly coming out where banking looks like one of the good uh, performing industries in terms of credit growth. Uh, the question is why the share price didn't do well. And one major reason was a heavy FIA selling was going on. So now given FIA selling is back, the banks are doing well. Uh, the valuations are still good and uh, CUB looks like uh, uh, to be performing well in coming quarters and management has met few projections in terms of the growth will be more driven by, uh, you know, the, the, the credit growth as well as uh, recoveries. And they had mentioned that treasury will not be contributing this much. And that is what has happened. And even in coming quarters, 
treasury will not be you know uh, contributing much to the profitability so all good on cub and uh, i am hoping for uh, the good show to continue in coming quarters also if we look at the technicals you know that uh, you know we had initiated position somewhere around uh, 115 125 range and that is where we did the presentation and uh, 145 was a key resistance and uh, the stock is finally out of that level it has made a decent move from 130 you know 120 range to 177 at the current price the stock might feel a little bit of resistance technically uh, but fundamentally i am bullish on the stock and i believe in you know in coming three months six months nine months whenever this resistance should get broken and the stock should again see 190 and uh, uh with the fundamentals doing well of course the valuations so, you know will catch up and uh, charts are ultimately a reflection of fundamentals so i am hoping these resistance will be broken at some point of time and uh, let's leave it for the time to come now coming to the other bank karur vyas bank so karur vyas has been uh, you know historically a big underperformer uh, though i have presented i had mentioned i have a very small position i continue to hold the small position uh, but this stock has also done well both price wise as well as business wise and again, if we look at Karur Vyas Bank on all the fronts, it has done well. If you look at uh, the NIM, uh, you know, the NIM has gone up from 3.55% to 3.879% uh, in March 22. And again, it has increased a bit further, 3.82%. Uh, ROA, there is a major improvement. So uh, from 0.57% uh, in March 22, it went to 1.06%. Now it is at 1.09%. Uh, in terms of CRAR, uh, again, there's an improvement. Uh, it has maintained the same level. Uh, the most important part, the NPA. So if we look at the gross NPA uh, in June 21, from almost 8% NPA, March 22, we were at 5.96%. And this quarter, again, it has fallen further to 5.2%. And uh, the net NPA is also down in one quarter from 2.28% to 1.91%. And uh, it has been achieved with high provision coverage ratio. The provision coverage ratio is almost 83%, uh, which is very healthy. And you can see it is happening because, you know, the company is again recovering more and more NPAs. And uh, that is how, you know, good things are happening. Also, technically, Karur Vyas Bank has also done well on the charts. 42 was the range where the stock kept getting multiple supports and uh, in the last few weeks, the stock got a lot of strength substantiated with a huge volume based fine. And then the stock has come to 63 and this 63 is a key resistance. I believe once the stock breaks the 64 resistance, uh, the stock will do really well. And again, fundamentally, everything is going well for the stock. So I believe sooner or later, this will get broken and we will see new highs coming in the stock. Now, you must be wondering that I spoke about, uh, you know, NPAs, I spoke about ROA, ROE. I didn't speak about the PL performance. And the reason being is for me, PL performance in the bank that comes at last, it's mostly the quality of the balance sheet, the quality of the lending and improvement in these areas are more important. But if we look at the PL, also the quarterly results were pretty good. So let us look at CUB. <clears throat> So if we look at CUB numbers year over year, uh, very good, uh, you know, uh, numbers. Revenue is up from 997 crore to 1099 crores. And we can see the company is making financing profit. Now, financing profit is the profit basically which comes from lending and is one of the few companies in banking which is uh, which generates financing profit. And huge jump from 20 crores to 78 crores. And uh, you can see the final net profit. It has shown very, very good growth from 173 crore to 225 crore. So if they maintain this kind of run rate, the bank is going to generate almost, uh, you know, eight to 900 crores of profit. And when we initiated uh, and when we discussed, the stock was available at around 9,000, 10,000 kind of crore, which means almost 10x earnings, which is quite decent. Uh, many of you would know we had a webinar on auto and electric vehicle sector and the webinar was spread in two parts. On uh, 7th of August, we had a very engaging session, which was session one. We are going to have another session on 21st of this month. And uh, in case you have not attended, not registered, uh, kindly have a look at it. And if you find it interesting, do register. I will see you for the webinar.
coming to Karur Vyas Bank, even Karur Vyas Bank has done well uh, in terms of revenues up from 1376 crore to 1474 crore. Uh, the financing profit wise, the company was in loss, and this quarter they have made from minus 40 crore to 122 crores of profit. And the final pat is up from 109 crores to 229 crore, which is a more than 100% jump in the profit. So the story seems to be playing out and hence the valuations will also catch up and hence the price is also making the right moves. And I don't believe this is only with these two companies. The bet was more on the sector and from the sector, uh, I picked one very proven company and one company, you know, uh, which has really not done well. Everybody has lost trust and hence it was available at a valuation of I think 0.35 or 0.4 book value if I remember and that is why you know even I have a very very small position uh, but the sector seems to be the story seems to be playing well in terms of how the sector is positioned how the valuations were positioned how the companies were positioned and now the companies have started performing and I believe the cycle won't end soon uh, if everything goes fine uh, this is going to be a cycle which will last for next few quarters and we'll keep covering it so I hope the video was informative. Uh, do let me know your feedback or do let me know if you have any open questions. And I will see you, I will see you again with some of more videos of uh, companies which we have analyzed in this year, uh, you know, how they have performed. Thank you.